Hello, everybody, and welcome to another video by ThePilotReport.com. I'm your host, Len Costa. Now, today's video is, an, is another video in our interview series called Notice to Airmen, where I sit down with various aviation business owners and professionals and ask them to share some information about their products and services. And on the call with me today is Toby Little of TripSwap.net. Thanks for joining us today, Toby. Hi, uh, Len. Thanks for having me. So I came upon, um, actually came upon your website uh, somehow in my Twitter feed and started looking around there. And, uh, you know, a general description is uh, it al basically allows crew members to, tr you know, to trade their, their trips, flight crew members. So this is more for like aviation professionals. Uh, exactly. Yeah, look, the TripSwap.net trip swap site is, uh, as you say, direct, directed at uh, mainly commercial uh, airline crew, whether it okay. be cabin crew or pilots. Uh, it's, a, it's a place where people can advertise uh, swaps that they'd like to get rid of and, and likewise for other crew to be able to search for trips that they might be able to pick up. Um, hopefully that will improve people's quality of life and, uh, and be able to make, help people find each other. Right. Okay. Now, where did uh, you know? How'd you come up with the idea? Actually. Okay. Well, uh, it started back in two thousand and two, really, and it's it's been through uh, several transformations. But the original idea came in two thousand and two. I worked for an airline uh, in Australia that had very low budget, and uh, they weren't prepared to put in uh, too much money into technology. But they were trying mm -hmm. to come up with a solution for how we could. A, lower sick leave and B, right. boost morale by B, allowing people to be able to swap trips with each other because in that particular airline we didn't really have a, a bidding system as such. So uh, we really uh, didn't have a lot of roster flexibility and so I put my hand up to have a bit of a try at uh, developing a website which would enable people to communicate well and uh, and, and do exactly that. And look, um, in its first phases, it was very basic, and it's been relaunched several times. But um, just recently, it's it's got to the point where I've I've gone much bigger with it, and I've okay. opened it up to a lot of other uh, airlines and uh, bases around the world uh, because it was working so well. I've decided to open it up to everybody else. So that's basically how the idea came about. And uh, in its latest guise, it's been uh, recently uh, updated. It's, it's fully automated, it's got security uh, passwords and profiles and so forth. Uh, it's got other functions such as aviation news, uh, okay. port tips for, you know, if people have suggestions for, for uh, things to do up line. Mm -hmm. But of course the main function is the trip swapping itself and that's where the primary focus of the website is on. Okay, so the so you've been this working on this website, or you started the website. You said in two thousand two. Um, yes. How you know what have you seen in growth over the last few years? Did it start locally in just Australia, and now you know you've made it more into some other areas of the of the world, or how you know what have what have you seen? Yeah, exactly. Look, I started it in. Uh, I worked in a small, as I said, a small airline in a small base. So mm -hmm. I was really aiming the whole idea at only. Uh, several hundred people that worked in my airline, uh, but since then I've moved on and uh, and I've moved into other other businesses and uh, bigger airlines, and I've mm -hmm. seen the need for this in other areas. I know some airlines around the world provide uh, some technology that that right. may enable people to find each other, but um, a lot of them are clunky or they're difficult or they're paper based. Uh, or they they just don't really work the way this website does. So my whole aim over the last nine years has just been finding better and easier ways uh, mm. to make the whole process smoother and uh, and to make it run much more efficiently. So um, yeah. So as I've gone into the bigger airlines, I've just realised how much more need there was for this service. Mm -hmm. People have been taking to it really well. Um, it looks a quite quite bare at the moment because I've really just come out of a beta testing phase for this okay. new version. So, uh, so uh, it's a building up. A, 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 the the uh, membership base is building up again. So, uh, okay. but but every day more and more people are joining. So it's uh, it's really going well at the moment. But it Fantastic. is in its beta phases. It's got a long way to go still. Fantastic. So you were saying that you've added some you know some new bases and some new airlines. What's um, what's new say recently to to what you've added? Uh, well, look. Basically, um, being Australian, I've had uh, I've now opened it up to all Australian airlines, uh, okay. and I've now basically opened it up to any airline. If if you're if you have a look at the website and you're from an airline where you think this website could be for you, uh, there's there's an opportunity to add your airline or your base to mm -hmm. the website. So 
effectively it's infinite. Um, I've put down 20 or 25 major airlines to try to uh, get the ball rolling. Okay. And of course, any airline, any base, any category can uh, join in and take part in tripswap.net. Great. Uh, do you have any um, currently have any U.S. airlines where I'm based uh, that, that you're servicing right now or that are using your, your website? Uh, look, I haven't had any. I've, I've opened it up to the American Airlines, and mm-hmm. as I say, this is very, very recent. So um, I've have hardly done any promoting or okay. uh, marketing towards the American Airlines, and hopefully, maybe through your website and uh, this video, perhaps we can uh, get some American Airlines crew having a look at the website. Excellent. Uh, but I, I have listed a few airlines there that are ready to go, so there's no no need to uh, request to have them added. Uh, there's a list available on the website, but as I said. Uh, we can add any airline at any time. Okay. Just drop the line, and uh, we'll have it done within hours for you. Great, good deal. Now uh, we were chatting offline before the call, and you were telling me that you, um, you know, you work as air crew down in Australia. Um, so when you've been flying for how long now? Uh, Eighteen years. I've Eighteen been years in the uh, airline industry, and uh, I've been uh, at cabin crew for that okay. time. Uh, so I've been based in in uh, around various parts of Australia and also in the UK as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I'm in Australia now, and uh, yeah, 18 years in the industry, and uh, you know, it's been it's been uh, it's given me given me a lot of ideas and uh, a lot of background, and hopefully some experience in how to actually structure this website as well. Now, what got you started in the airline business 18 years ago? Oh, that's a big question. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I actually studied in university as a graphic designer and okay. uh, computer graphics was just starting off. Uh, I don't want to give my age away, but I was in one of the first, the very first year that the universities here offered uh, uh, graphics as pa- uh, computer graphics as part of, as part of their courses. Okay. Um, I did that for a couple of years, but I was, due to it being my hobby, I was a bit beyond it, shall we say, mm-hmm. and I got a bit bored. Um, and I, I sort of started doing various other things, a bit of freelance graphic design work and so forth. Anyway, um, as it was back in the day in the family, my mum worked for an airline here called Ansett, uh, which is a, uh, an airline that uh, was probably our second largest airline in Australia, uh, which is no more, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, she encouraged me to apply for, the, for a job in the airlines to give me a bit of stability. And uh, I soon found myself flying all around Australia and Staying in uh, nice hotels and living the life as people <laughs> love of an mm. uh, airline crew, yeah. and I was hooked, and I never really looked back from there. I've I've gone, f- you know, from place to place. I've travelled the world, and I've been based. I've worked with four different airlines now, and uh, been in five different bases. I think so. I keep mm. moving around, uh, and I love the life. So yeah, as we all do. So that's why we're here. Yeah, right? awesome. <laughs> So, uh, what kind of plans do you you know do you have for say the future of TripSwap.net? What are you hoping to do? You know, obviously, I'm guessing uh, expand to more countries, have more awareness through flight crews and and different airline companies. Uh, you know, is that the main focus, or do you have some other goals for the website as well? So, I really, I guess, the phase that I'm in now is promoting the website, uh, getting the word out there. It's obviously a website where the more people that are aware of it, and the more people that use it, then the better it functions. So, right. obviously, uh, if everyone in in your base, for example, is aware of the website and uh, checking it regularly, it's going to work really well. But um, if if only a couple of people have, are aware of it, then uh, we need to do some work on on promoting that. So, um, at the moment, I'm starting to ramp up the uh, the Twitter and the the social networking sites. Okay. I'm going working through Facebook and uh, a few other through through other social media. To try and get the word out there, it's pretty hard to sit here in Australia and, and get <laughs> out. And I appreciate the support from from yourself and uh, yeah, absolutely. And, yeah, no. Hopefully, the people that see this website will uh, tell their friends or colleagues mm-hmm. about it, and uh, that will start the snowball rolling. I hope. Wonderful. Well, you just mentioned uh, you getting started in social media, Twitter and Facebook. Um, you know, if folks want to get a hold of you. Uh, what? You, how can they do so on, say, for instance, Twitter and Facebook? Okay. Uh, yep. Twitter. The Twitter name is uh, TripSwapNet, all one word. Okay. And on Facebook, I have a, a profile called Trip Swapper. So that's uh, okay. first name Trip, surname Swapper, S W A P P E R. Okay. And uh, uh, that will get you onto the Facebook page. It's it gives you updates. It gives you a bit of information. It also gives you a point of contact uh, if you need it as well. Well, so. excellent. Well, it's awesome having you on the call this evening, Toby. Um, 
This is Toby Little with TripSwap.net, and uh, thanks again for joining us this evening in one of our interview series for the Notice to Airmen. This is Len Costa wishing you clear skies and calm winds. Take care, everybody.